In this problem, we are asked to determine the second order Taylor polynomial of r of x centered at 3, where r of x is given by the quantity 1 plus x to the fourth power. So we know right off the bat that our answer is going to look something like this. Well, it's not going to look something like this. It is going to be this. r of 3 plus r prime of 3 times x minus 3 plus r double prime of 3 times x minus 3 squared. And in order to figure out exactly what this is going to look like, we need to calculate the first and second derivatives of this. So let's go ahead and do that. r prime of x is just going to be 4 times 1 plus x to the third power. And then the second derivative, going to be 4 times 3, is 12 times 1 plus x squared. So now we're going to plug in x equals 3 into each of these three functions so we can fill in these values. So r of 3 is just given by 1 plus 3 to the fourth power, which is 4 to the fourth power. And let's see here. 4 to the second is 16, 4 to the third is 64, 4 to the fourth is 256. So we'll plug that in here. Okay. Now we're going to evaluate r prime of 3. which is equal to 4 times 1 plus 3 to the third, which is just going to be the same thing, because it's 4 times 4 to the third, which is equal to 4 to the fourth. So this is also 256. Okay. Now we're going to find our double prime at 3 is equal to 12 times 4 squared. 4 squared is equal to 16, so this is 12 times 16, which is not a number I know off the top of my head. So we're just going to leave it like it is. I'm sure you can plug that into a calculator if you want to. In any case, the, our final answer is going to be given by 256 plus 256x minus 3 plus 12 times 16x minus 3 squared.